Are you guys ever left wondering what happened to that celebrity? I definitely know that I am. That's why today on Beyond the Screen, we're gonna be breaking down the top 10 Hollywood celebrities who mysteriously disappeared part two. I'm Mackenzie and make sure to subscribe if you're new here. Let's get into it. Starting off at number 10, we've Rick Moranis. Rick was a major comedy star in the 80s, best known for starring in the Honey, I Shrunk the Kids franchise. However, he decided to leave Hollywood in 1991 because his wife Anne sadly died of cancer. He was left as a single father to two children and put acting on the back burner to raise his kids. After filming 1997's Honey, We Shrunk Ourselves, Rick officially left Hollywood to focus on raising his kids full time. He has voice acted in a handful of roles since, but he's mostly stayed off screen. But it looks like his hiatus might be coming to an end soon as there are talks to add another installment to the Honey, I Shrunk the Kids franchise. The film is called Shrunk with Josh Gad playing his son, and it's currently in pre-production on IMDb, so I'm sure we're gonna be seeing it soon. Also, make sure to like the video if you're liking it so far. In at number nine, Chris Humphreys. Chris Humphreys was a professional basketball star and briefly a reality TV star when he was married to Kim Kardashian. The Minneapolis-born athlete played for nine different professional teams during his career, and he was a pretty low-key player in the league, of course, until the Kardashians got involved. And he became one of the top stars in the tabloids with the Kardashian affiliation, even getting him heckled on court. The pair got married, then divorced 72 days later, which of course didn't help the media circus. Chris ended up retiring from the NBA, and he moved back home and started franchising fast casual restaurants. And he's remained out of the spotlight ever since. In at number eight, Audrey Hepburn. Audrey Hepburn is of course the legendary old Hollywood actress known for Breakfast at Tiffany's, along with many other iconic films. Her style also influenced the fashion trends of the next few decades. And even though she was a massive star, many people forget that she retired just a few years after her career peaked. During her acting days, Hepburn worked with UNICEF, crediting them with assisting her as a child in the war-torn Netherlands. Then when she retired in 1988, she became an official ambassador. And she used her fame to help people and bring attention to charities and human rights issues. In at number seven, Jamie Lynn Spears. Jamie Lynn Spears is best known for her role as Zoe in the hit show Zoe 101, but she left her career and the height of her fame to become a mother, as she became pregnant shortly after she stopped filming the show at the age of 16. She walked away from fame in an attempt to escape the scrutiny, and years later she shared her thought process at the time with Glamour. She said, quote, I just wanted to get away from it as much as I could, to just go away and be a mom and figure out what I wanted, and to earn a sense of respect back for myself. Move to a town in the middle of nowhere and just raise my child. All I could be was a good mother. She's now married with two children and has not been in the spotlight since. And at number six, Frankie Muniz. Please tell me I'm not the only one that had a huge crush on Frankie Muniz when they were growing up, you know, hopefully not just me. Frankie Muniz was a tween star best known for Malcolm in the Middle, but after he became mega famous as a teenager, he decided to leave acting to pursue another career. He ended up becoming a race car driver, and he had a lot of success too. In 2006, he joined Jensen Motorsport as a race car driver, and according to People, he competed in the Champ Car World Series. He also made his way to the highly televised Las Vegas Grand Prix. Frankie has said that he would go back to acting for Malcolm in the Middle reboot, and he did start a few seasons of Dancing with the Stars. But he's mostly stayed away from the spotlight since his tween stardom. Halfway number five, Dylan Spretz. After becoming Disney stars, Cole and his brother Dylan stepped away from the spotlight. However, Cole decided to return and is now one of the stars of the hit show Riverdale. Dylan has decided to stay out of acting and decided to attend college. He attended NYU from 2011 to 2015, where he studied video game design. Then after started All Wise Metering. In an interview with Vanity Fair in 2018, Dylan stated, quote, after graduating, I realized that it's something I really love doing. And it's also a big business opportunity. I was thinking about ways to invest my money and I thought, well, if there's anything to invest your money in, alcohol is not a bad thing to invest in. Dylan has started a handful of indie short films since, but we don't expect him to come back into the spotlight anytime soon. In at number four, Nikki Blonsky. Nikki Blonsky's rise to stardom is such a crazy story, it could be the plot of a movie. In 2007, she was scooping ice cream in Cold Stone Creamery when she learned that she had been cast in the role of Tracy Turnblad in the cinematic reboot of Hairspray after applying to an open casting call. But after the breakout role, her career took a dive. Over the years, as Blonsky's acting roles have become fewer and farther between, rumors have circulated from time to time about what she does to make money. Some photos went viral of her sweeping up at a hair salon, which prompted her to respond on Twitter saying, quote, it's true, I'm working at Superstar Salon as a makeup artist. And more, I am proud to be working and helping pay bills, but I'll never lose sight of my dream. So it seems like she's still working towards her dreams, but for now, she's out of the spotlight. In at number three, Kevin Jonas. Kevin Jonas is of course the older brother of the Jonas Brothers. 
But although Kevin Jonas rose to stardom during his time as a performer with his brothers, after the band broke up in 2013, Jonas focused on creating apps and other business ventures with his fortune from his Joe Bro days. He created an app called Ute, which showed nearby restaurants serving the type of food that you picked from a menu. He also started Jonas Warner, a real estate development and construction company that he established soon after the breakup of the band. In addition, Kevin is the co-CEO of The Blue Market. It's a business venture mainly focused on communication and pushing them to be actively visible in social media and gain a following. And although it seems that Kevin would prefer a life away from the spotlight, the band is such a staple in the hearts of young people everywhere, including myself. The band has gotten back together and recently made music. So it seems that Kevin is back in the spotlight for now, but not sure if that could change again in the future. In at number two, George Clooney. George Clooney has slowly started to drift away from acting, and that's on purpose. The stars opened up in the past about his thoughts of quitting acting for good. And he's spoken about the fact that he doesn't like fame, saying in an interview, quote, What's the guy in the big house on the hill got to complain about? The truth is, the big house on the hill is isolating. There's no other way to say it. There are restrictions to this kind of fame. I've been walked in Central Park for 15 years. I'd like to, you know? Then in 2017, he said that he was seriously thinking of quitting acting, saying, quote, look, I acted for a long time and you know, I'm 56. I'm not the guy that gets the girl anymore. He also added that he no longer needs to act to make money as he sold his tequila company Casamigos for a billion dollars. At the time, he had not acted in a movie since 2016. However, he did star in the 2020 film, Midnight Sky, but that could potentially be his last movie. And at number one, Taylor Momsen. Gossip Girl character and former child star Taylor Momsen began her transition out of Hollywood while she was still a series regular on the CW's teen soap, Gossip Girl, which explains why Momsen looks so different at the end compared to the start of the show. Taylor formally announced that she had quit acting in 2011 to focus on her punk rock career with her band, The Pretty Reckless. Nine years later, in 2020, The Pretty Reckless are still rocking on and preparing for a release of their fourth album. True to her word, Taylor has not returned to acting in any capacity. Monson told The Daily Beast in 2014, quote, When I got to a place where I realized I was in control of my own life and had found the right band and everything was coming to fruition, it wasn't even a question. I was going to quit my day job. I came to set every day with an effing guitar but I'm very lucky the producers were nice enough to write me out, allow me to tour and pursue my passion. And honestly, good for her for chasing her dreams. So that's all for the video, guys. Let me know your thoughts on it below. But before I go, I'm gonna shout out some comments from my video on celebrities that could lose everything. Fort Nazawal said, I hope they don't cancel Chris Pratt. The guy is hilarious. I wanna see him in Guardians of the Galaxy 3. I did say, I, I don't believe he should be canceled. He's done nothing wrong. Hopefully people will just back away from him. <laughs> Introverts Rock, which is a fact, said, Hillsong pastor who was fired was a mentor to Bieber. Did the pastor know Pratt too? I would assume so. I think that was like a famous celebrity church that a lot of celebrities go to. So I, I think it's the same for, like church that Bieber went to. Then Zayim said, where's Zoe Laverne? Uh, yes, she should definitely be on this list. I think she already has lost everything to be honest, but I didn't think she was a big enough celebrity to put on here that like most people would know. I think that the Lopez brothers are bigger. I guess you guys can let me know below. But I think they're more well known than Zoe Laverne. Could be wrong. All right guys, that's all for the video today. Thanks so much for sticking around if you made it all the way here. If you liked the video and want to see some more, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel below. I've been your host, Mackenzie Smith, and I will catch you all in the next one.